I would have never imagined myself getting married in a, a church, <laughs> especially a very traditional looking church like this. It felt big. <laughs> <laughs> felt big, but it, it was felt... amazingly comfortable being up there. So I think we really touched people that you could actually have that experience of a gay marriage in this cathedral. <laughs> <laughs> The message is fantastic, the sermons are fantastic, the music is fantastic, the space itself is magnificent. But then you have messages about inclusion and diversity and, and Buddhism and conversations with, with people from across the planet. So I, I like those two things mixed together because it just works for me. It's, it's not so clean, it's a little messy and it's kind of, <laughs> it's better that way. The trilogue for us was a huge Deal, the, having a Muslim imam and having a, a Jewish rabbi and having that conversation with Scott, a, a Christian minister, was, I don't know, that was great to us. That the church could be that open to have those, those other voices on the chancel. It's great that the church um, does these art exhibits. I mean, we're in Los Angeles, the creative capital of the world, and to have access to so much beautiful artistry, you know, we're kind of honored. But there's so many other groups they reach out to, like the Gay Men's Chorus who rehearse here, Vox Feminist here all the time, the Women's Chorus, the Gay Freedom Band, and all of these groups, the, this kind of celebration of art and creation runs strong in the church. I think we found the place that we believe in the message, we believe in what they do. That doesn't just happen by showing up on Sunday, it takes yeah. some commitment and involvement. We do the e-giving, which makes it very easy. <laughs> e-giving especially is a very simple way to do it. The message here, it'd be just nice to have more of that in the world. And so, however we can support that. 